We want to put our skills together to animate using Vectary, um, but Vectary is not technically an animating program. It's more of a building program. Um, but there are some animations you can put in there. You can put Lotties in there. There's some um, other functions you can add to Vectary. But um, with this free version that we're using, we're going to do a low-level animation. This is not probably the way we should do it, but for what we are learning, this will work for us. So when you make an image, um, if you click on this button down here, you download so I want to click on this camera view. Sorry, I have this bowling set up. This is a bowling alley with a pin and a bowling ball. I put some planes in the background to set the scene, and I also put in a camera. So this is what the camera is currently looking at. So I want to download this image, and it downloads it as project name. Of course, I wouldn't give it a better file name, but it, it downloads it as fi file name. So it downloaded an ID of this image. I'm going to keep going. So I'm going to take this bowling ball and move it a little bit and click off of it. And I'm going to download my new image. So now I have project name and then project name one. I'm going to start moving my bowling ball. Maybe I want to add some spins depending on the detail that I have and download the image again. I'm going to move this a little bit farther, download again. And I'm going to keep doing this and it gives, keeps giving it project name three, project name four. There's five and six. And now I'm at a point where I want my bowling ball to keep moving, but I also want to animate this pin to start falling down. So I'm now moving two objects and I need to download the image. I need to move the pin so it's falling down and the bowling ball so that it's still pushing through and download the image. So I'm, I'm, I'm creating my animation by all these pictures. So what do I do with the pictures then? You use another program and it can be any animation program to put them in. There's tons of them out there. There's Wick Editor, there's Animate, there's Unity, there's, there's a whole bunch of different things. We are going to low level it with Google Slides. So I just went to my Google account. Um, I'm going to create a blank presentation. You can do it in PowerPoint the same way. And then I'm going to start to insert my image that I need to upload from my computer. All these are saved in my downloads folder. The first one is project name. And then I want it to be centered. And maybe I want to stretch it out to fill this Google slide. I will insert a new slide and insert my second image. So that was project one. I'm going to go ahead and speed this along here. I'm going to pause this video and come back once I have all of these slides um, created and um, uploaded all the images from it. So. I will be back in just a second. So I inserted my images on, on the slides that I had taken. I actually have extra slides, so I'm going to go ahead and delete the extra slides. But now, if I click on the first slide and view as a slideshow, I can click through it, and I have simulated animation. Again, this is a low-level animation, but it would work as an animation. So I set my camera on it. I have a camera on it. I downloaded each image that I need to create the animation.